Hey everybody, welcome to my phone collection video update. So I'm going to try and get through this um, second row here a bit faster and um, just briefly talk about each phone and maybe talk about a little bit of the DVD features. So let's get straight to it. Um, I'll start with the phone at the top here. Now we have the uh, now we have the uh, Spider-Man trilogy. Spider-Man 1, 2 and 3. So this is my Spider-Man trilogy. Um, of course I've got the first one, Spider-Man movie. This is the 2 Special Edition. I have um, Spider-Man 2.1, the extended cut, which is the um, 8 minutes extended fight scenes and dialogues. And I do have the uh, theatrical cut as well. There's a theatrical special edition as well, which I'll get to in a minute. And I have Spider-Man 3. Uh, the special edition also. Now, um, I like the first one um, a lot when I when I was younger. I really enjoyed that movie a lot, and I watched it uh, at the cinema. I thought it was really fantastic, and I think Spider-Man was. I like the idea of this. Uh, this um, the, I like the idea of this superhero and all that. But I think my personal favorite would be the second one, uh, Two Point um, Spider-Man Two. I think it just uh, balances the comedy and the action and the drama, right? And I think it's just a bit more of a yes, he is Spider-Man now. But what are the consequences of being Spider-Man? You know, he kind of has to has his weight upon him now in this world, and it's, and it's very kind of like a Batman type thing, you know, you know. People relied on him too much, and he has to make choices. You know whether should he be Spider-Man or should he not be. And I love the whole drama about that. Now I'll show you. Um, what I've done here. Now I've done it into a four-disc um, box set. Show sure, sure that. Um, I've got the um, original two-disc special edition. The original cut Spider-Man. This is the one disc there, and I have the bonus disc for that movie. And I have, of course, the 2.1 feature film, which is that, and of course the, the extras for that one. So I've got all the extras, possibly for number two and the actual 2.1, and I both both feature films. I only watched the 2.1 because I think it's better and just adds more to the actual film overall. And the extras are really, really fantastic for this movie. Um, if you've got um, Spider-Man 2 and you have not seen this 2.1, I would definitely recommend you pick up this uh, 2 Special Edition. Um, it's, it's great um, 8 minute features and it, and it does really add to the actual movie in value wise. And the extras are really fantastic, you've got the course, you've got the documentary, the differences and why they took certain scenes out and all that. And it's just really, really good, I would definitely recommend it. So that's, and of course Batman 3, yeah, so you have Special Edition, yep. Yeah. Extras that. Um, overall, I thought Spider-Man 3 was probably the weakest of the trilogy. Um, I think it could have been so much more, which is probably why they're rebooting the movies. But um, hey, okay, let's, uh, let's speed up a bit more. Um, have the uh, crazies, Timmy Fjolten. It's a really, really good film. We have the Mist. That's the uh, Tudor Special Edition. We have the uh, black and white feature and the colour version and all the extras. Really, really great film. Um, I watched this film with no expectations and I fully, fully enjoy it. Um, another found footage type sheet cam type movie. We have The Wreck. We have the Tudor Special Edition. Um, a really, really good film. Really um, classic horror. Really 28 Days meets Blair Witch type deal. Um, if you're a fan of shaky cam movies and um, horror, then you'll definitely like the Wreck movies. I'm looking forward to um, the third movie and, of course, Requiem um, Apocalypse. Of course, having the first one, I have, I have to have the, uh, the second one as well, Wreck 2, which is one of the best sequels to a film I've seen in a very long time. That was really, really fantastic. It just adds so much more to the movie and just opened it up to so much more. And really, really fantastic. Very shocking. I didn't expect it to be this good. So Wreck 2, I would definitely recommend as a horror movie. Um, uh, Dawn of the Dead director's cut, a really good movie, good zombie movie. Director's cut, I think, is a bit more to give you more guts, and the extras are really good as well, and the music videos and stuff. So I definitely check it out. Um, I have The Walking Dead. That is the first season, uncut editions. I'll show you that. Includes all uh, six episodes, uncut editions of the season one. Now, of course, um, region two for some reason um, had edited cuts of all the violence taken out, and I think I don't understand why. Um, but I managed to get the uncut versions. So my dad there um, got the same edition as me. Edition. Can't wait to get uh, season two or something. Um, I have I'm a Legend. 
Yeah, that, that's the Tudor Special Edition with the uh, two different endings, two different versions of the film. Um, I don't know, I prefer both versions to be honest. Uh, this, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. I like the fact that he does die, I like the fact that he doesn't die. I don't know, it's kind of mixed feelings about that. But good movie, definitely. I uh, have my Terminator collection, which is uh, my shame. Terminator uh, Special Edition with uh, the original nice little fake booklet and stuff. Really, really good movie Terminator, classic. And I have uh, Terminator 2 and Judgment Day, the Ultimate Edition, which is uh, has this really, really great. Huge booklet, really insightful stuff. That's a that's, a, that's basically an extra right there for you. Um, of course, the display notes. Um, I definitely recommend the uh, special edition version of the movie if you um, are a fan of the two main movies. I would definitely recommend that version. It gives gives you more and all that. Um, of course, you can get the Blu-ray editions, which has um, I think all three versions, including the ex um, uh, extended version with a different ending, which doesn't really work with these movies, but in all fairness, if you just like the first two and you want to end it in that way, the extended version could end your uh, Terminator movies if you didn't like the others. But I did, unfortunately. So, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, uh, Special Edition. Um, of course, not as good as the second one, I think everyone can agree to that, but I still liked it, still Arnold being Arnold, some funny scenes. I watched it at the cinema, I really enjoyed it, and I think it's a good movie, I, enjoy, I like the uh, adds on to the actual trilogy. Now, on a really underrated movie, uh, The Terminator Salvation, um, a lot of people really did not like this for some reason. I don't understand why. I think it was well made, it adds so much more, and it links massively to the first movie and the second. So, Terminator Salvation, I don't understand why people dislike it. Of course, this is the Steelbook edition, we showed in my uh, Steelbook version, Steelbook video. So, um, I want to get the uh, Director's cut on Blu-ray when I see it cheap, and I will be getting it, but I'll be keeping the packaging so I just replace the disc probably. Um, I have Blade 1, uh, Blade 2, that's the special edition, and Blade, the extended versions, which has the uh, both actually has the virtual cut and the extended cut, which the extended cut is much, much better. It has a uh, different pacing, uh, different angle changes, different edit cuts, additional scenes, extended scenes, scenes been taken out. It's just a better version all around. I'm very happy to have that version. I like the Blade trilogy. I think Wesley Times is just really badass in all these movies. I like him. So, yeah, um, I have Constantine, it's the two special edition with the different kind of seal. I like to get the uh, Blu ray because uh, I've seen the quality and it looks really, really good. So, but I'm happy with this uh, special edition, it looks pretty good. What's that? Good Constantine movie, um, I like the ideas about it, I like the um, storyline, this whole idea of God versus Devil and, you know, kind of where the kind of pawns in the game, it's really, really good. Good uh, kind of DC, Vertigo uh, comic based movie. We have a uh, Ghost Rider to the special edition. I'm very happy to have this is a Haitian re exclusive. Um, I bought this for four pounds online um, to get all these uh, nice little extras. You got, well, uh, you got lots and lots of extras. You get the exclusive cinema called the movie, you never seen footage, and you get like a three part documentary which talks about the making, uh, linking it to the comic, and just talking about everything literally based upon Ghost Rider. Um, it's not the best movie, I understand why a lot of people don't like it, but I think the character Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze himself is really, really good. I've seen the second movie and I probably will be getting it to my collection. Again, loads of people did not like it, but I found something, I like the character, I like the actual people around it, but, you know, it's not for everyone. Now, start off my, um, well, this is my uh, complete Avengers uh, collection. We have the Incredible Hulk, to the special edition, which is a different HMV exclusive seal. I like this whole battle sequence there, Abomination. Extra really, really good on that. Um, we have... Iron Man, the Tudor Special Edition. Oh, lots and lots and lots of extras. I paid this up for a bargain price. I think it was a fiver. Really happy to have this. You get lots of good extras, really detailed extras about the movie and basing upon the comic and you know music videos and all that stuff. I watched this um, actually yesterday. I'm going to watch the second one later, probably today. But the time I upload it, I already have watched it. But um, yeah. Iron Man 2, the special edition. Now, I want to talk about this specifically. Now, Iron Man 2, the actual movie, is probably not as good as the first one. I do agree upon that. But I still think a lot of people are being harsh about it. I think it is actually a pretty decent movie. It's going for a different tone, a different feel to the first one was. And I think it does work. And I, I like, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think 
Robbie Downey Jr. and the Iron Man story is actually pretty decent, it's, and this has got some revenge story in there as well. I had absolutely no problem with it in the slightest. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts about this Iron Man second take, uh, Iron Man two. Now the DVD is a fucking rip off. Now the now with this two special edition DVD, you get look at this. Right. Deleted scenes, behind the scene feature, including creation, stock, industry, and more. That more is a trailer. That is it. That is all the extras you get on the DVD to the special edition. It's a fucking rip off. For the lead scenes, you just get a couple of okay ones, and you get some okay behind the scenes features. Not really long, I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes, it's not long at all. And you get one trailer, that is it. That is the special edition. That is an extra, that's like me paying an extra five for this. The only reason I bought this special edition is for consistency, getting the out of sleeve cover. And it looks well. And it looks it looks good with with the, the first bit. I will be getting this on a Blu-ray um, format at some point when I see it cheap, because uh, the Blu-ray only has all the extras, which is pretty fucking annoying to be honest. But I have a Blu-ray player now, so I will be getting that Blu-ray at some point. But in the meantime, I'll have to stick with this uh, shitty two-disc special edition, which is basically just me as well. I bought the one disc, in all fairness. Now we have uh, one of my favourites of uh, the pre. Well, this is, I think this is my personal favourite leading up to the main Avengers movie, my pre Avengers movie uh, films, if you get me. Uh, for really well made, uh, really well acted, excellent fight scenes, uh, special effects wise fantastic, the storyline's brilliant. I think it's just a really, really good movie for. Because there you get, you get some pretty decent special features. Um, of course, I think the uh, Blu-ray has more extras and all that stuff. But I think it will get the Blu-ray at some point. But this was a Christmas present of my dad. I was uh, very happy to have that. Um, at, the, at the time, I got this on Christmas Day, and I just I watched it on my brand new spanking new HD TV. It looked absolutely amazing. So um, I think the DVD quality is actually pretty decent considering. I watched it on my like, HD TV. I was really blown away by the picture, and I think the blue I think the Blu-ray will be just as good probably. But uh, yeah, I have Captain America. That's the uh, last movie leading up to the main Avengers. Um, I actually quite enjoyed Captain America in all fairness. Um, it's I think it is the weakest of the. Of the the actual uh, you know, five movies leading up, but um, I think it still works, and I think the character is great, and I think the ending is really fantastic as well. I love the fact that you do get that, you do get the trailer at the end after the end of the credits, kind of you know showing you different scenes and clips. I think that was a really cool little thing to put the cinema. Really fantastic. I didn't see this at the cinema. I only saw this on DVD, which is a shame because I, I think it would have been worth watching at the cinema definitely. Next, uh, Batman Begins, the two special edition, and uh, Dark Knight. Now, uh, two special edition with the HMV exclusive comic. And I'll show you that comic. Which is basically just a little comic of the actual uh, opening montage. Can't quite be seen with the detailed comics in it. I really have to have this. It just looks really, really good and it just adds to the actual value. If I ever get the Blu ray version, which I will, because it looks amazing, I will keep in the comic and this little edition in my collection for sure. Batman Forever. Yeah, that's the two special edition with um, contains additional scenes, which makes it a 12 certificate. Especially just a couple of like little extras and little, you know just um, swearing and you know all that stuff. Um, I always like Batman Forever. I think the storyline is really fantastic. I think it's really dark and psychological and just the whole ideas of like um, you know who is he? Is he Batman or is he you know Bruce Wayne? You know these ideas of the split personality kind of thing. It pushes the boundaries of that. I like it. It's a good Batman story. Falcon was pretty decent as well. Next, I have Kick-Ass, the Blu-ray edition. Very happy to have the Blu-ray. Um, I haven't actually watched this Blu-ray version yet. I uh, picked this up for six pounds uh, pre-owned. It looks still in good condition. That's one of the things I like about the, uh, the Blu-ray discs. It's, it looks amazing. There's no scratches at all. It looks in mint condition. I'm just that's really, really happy about. Kick-Ass is a really good movie. The only reason I bought this on Blu-ray really was to get all the extras, which is basically over two hours. Definitely worth the Blu-ray purchase, I think. And I've seen footage on it on Blu-ray anyway, my mate's house. Looks really good. 